Okay, so I'm nearly at the end of a marathon recording session. There's been 12 project reviews I've done in the last uh, two hours or so. Um, Trying up the energy so that we uh, that no no flagging. This is a house in multiple occupation in South Yorkshire. Uh, the idea of a project review is at the end of every job, the team write it up. Essentially, it's it's our present to the landlord in some ways. So this is a client's house that we found, we found the, the bare shell of the property, we put an HMO renovation into it, we rented it out as rooms, and now we manage it long term. That's that's the business we're in. We call that service handhold. We're a letting agency, for the landlords.com is a letting agency, and this is a service we offer to landlords who want to grow a property portfolio, single lets or HMOs, um, and we, we specialize in those. In fact, actually, just as a bit of a ratio, out of all of these ones on the desk that I've just recorded, there's uh, there's, three HMOs so you know you kind of get the, the, the ratio of course each HMO is five or six rooms so it kind of um, yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of rooms we manage I think there's uh, there's over there's over getting close to 400 now over 350 something like that anyway so project review I've got a pretty shabby print out here you probably want something slightly nicer go to the project sorry the video description click on the project review link in there and you'll be taken to the website. The website has got this as a nice PDF uh, and you can see this one, follow along as I'm, uh, as I'm uh, going through it. And if you close that down, you'll have a whole page full of other project reviews, other news, all sorts of stuff. You see, kind of get to see what we're up to. And it's also a, you know, a client testimonial. You'll see that um, yeah, there's loads of good reviews and client testimonials on there as well, which is kind of cool. I like having these on my desk every uh, project because it also keeps keeps my team honest. You know, this is how we really did. It's warts and all. You'll, you'll see, you know, there's, there's not all good news in there. Um, towards, uh, every, every, we did, we, rent, we uh, renovated and rented every single house out. So when I'm talking about um, warts and all, not good news, you know, like this was late, that was late, this was three weeks over, that cost 200 pound more, those kind of things. So you're gonna get a good flavor. It's the warts and all. That is that is what property investing is about. Um, the team are a very safe pair of hands and they didn't forget to renovate or rent anything out. Now, there's a bit about who the, for the landlords are and about the, 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 the handhold service, but if you're on the website, go to the burger and you find out all that stuff. Why is this the right property? Bit more in depth on an HMO, you've got to look, look and find the right property and you'll get all those details there. Um, there's some before pictures, and really interesting to see you know, the uh, the bare bones of what we start with, and this was all, all stripped out, and quite a, um, a reasonably major reconfiguration to get the property into a, an HMO, meeting all the right regulations and getting all the amenities. The HMO game has definitely stepped up over the last sort of five years, and um, it has to be a good standard, otherwise you won't rent the thing out. Summary of work, and there's a before and after um, plan of the layout. So you'll see how did we change the layout. That is something we come up with before before we even offer on the property. So that's the plan beforehand. Um, you need to know where every last plug socket, bed, bedside table, you know, where, the, where the, 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 the kitchen table, where the ironing board will go, before you even buy it to make sure it fits. You can't buy a house as a five bed and then when you come to fit the beds in, realize you can't walk around the end of the bed to get to the wardrobe, for example. It just doesn't work, it's impossible. You'd be sat in a house going, well, I've only got a three bed now, then that's not gonna work. So it's really, really critical on HMO that you get everything right from day one, before day one, before purchase. Project timeline, so that's our KPIs. We, uh, we aim for doing those in those times, and we were on budget and on time on this one. Uh, there's some after pictures. It was quite good to see after pictures of an HMO, the standard. Close this down, go look and find some more project reviews or um, pictures on, of, of, of HMOs um, on our website. It gives you a good indication of the standard you need to be at. And then here are some numbers. The numbers were, we bought this house for £85,000. We spent £41,148 on it. Uh, it rents out for £1,820 a month. That's room by room. And the developed value is... It says here £130,000. Now, because these always get produced uh, a little bit later, <coughs> um, in a rising market, they're always low. And I'm recording this, what, six months since we first sale agreed it. And I know that the developer value on this house is, yeah, more like 150, 160. Then again, we would not be buying this house for 85,000 pounds anymore. It's gone up in value. Uh, then on the back, there's always a, a bit of a testimonial from the client. So if you um, 
want to do that kind of thing yourself, there's an opportunity to book on a discovery call, chance to get all your questions answered. Click on the link in, in this or, or, or you know, burger discovery call on the website, either or you'll find you know, discoveries everywhere. It could be, I bet it'll be even in the link on the video by the time it's all uploaded. Uh, click on that and uh, come and see us on a discovery call, get all your questions answered and you have the opportunity to say, yep, yeah, this is something I want. I want you to build a, an HMO together, uh, put an HMO together for me. Uh, interesting thing on HMOs and we get it often. Um, we can put an HMO together probably 30, 40 grand less than what you can buy it for on the open market now. We regularly go to an HMO that's a bit scruffy and we look at it and the question is, can we buy this and renovate it cheaper than we could put it together ourselves? The answer is always no. Starting from scratch is always best. You get a really nice finished product to all the right regulations, um, you know, freshly rented out for less than what you could buy an HMO for ready-made on, on right move. So win-win. Uh, that's it for now. Check out on the uh, on the website, get on the, uh, the PDF if that's something you want to look at. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and a like. And if you want more of these, there's about six or seven that are gonna just keep popping up and there's regular updates and reviews and those kind of things. Press subscribe and those um, videos will come through to you automatically. Bye for now.